Kind of watching other people grow around you and grow with you as you know because you're small enough to really know who the people that are in your classes are. Uh, develop you know not only good friendships but also allow you to uh, really see kind of where they're growing and kind of understand your own growth in, in terms of that. You you will work with other people. You can collaborate with people and you can come up with new ideas. As a musician, I learn about using Photoshop and After Effects, and as a visual artist, they learn about using Pro Tools. This program really takes seriously the idea of fine art and music. Um, you can find programs for which uh, the emphasis is on technical skills, and you can find programs for which the emphasis is on learning job skills, uh, but you won't find many programs that really ask you to take music and art seriously, and we do. The Digital Arts Program is a collaborative effort between computer science, art, and music. Um, computer is our central focus, that we all use a computer in our disciplines, but we all use it in different ways. So how can we, you know, how can we use a computer as a tool to, to investigate new ways of art making? We kind of really encourage and develop creative individuals, creative thinking, creative, the creative process. Uh, it's not as much about kind of learning the software as it is about thinking creatively, thinking outside the box, um, and using those skills, uh, whether whether you decide to become an artist full time and develop your art, or uh, even our students that go on into industry, uh, that kind of creative thinking that they develop here really uh, makes them stand out. Nothing else at this school really has the kind of uh, collaboration that the digital arts department has and we're a pretty tightly knit group and that everybody relatively knows each other and everyone can help each other and that there's always uh, a new way to look at something and it's really great to get feedback from the other people in the department. One of the greatest things that I've learned in this program is, um, is to think outside the box and I've really come through this program learning about myself and learning about how I think and learning about the things that are important to me and how to put those into visual uh, representation. I didn't feel like my options were limited when I was applying for jobs. Like I could say I wanted to do a lot of um, a variety of tasks or I could offer that also to an employer. So it's like if you hired me to do one thing, I could do multiple things for them and it created you know, a, a greater incentive for other people to be interested in employing me. Stetson really offered kind of a jack of all trades kind of program. You know, really whatever your interest was, you could kind of steer yourself that on your own way. Yeah, they'll teach you how to use a, a sequencer like Logic or, or Pro Tools, and yeah, they'll they'll teach you how to use Reactor or you know basic wave editing software. But they they uh, they can teach you how to do anything you want with music. If you're just a really cool kid and you ever had the idea that hey, it'd be awesome if I could make music with with a, a video game controller. Or like if I uh, could jump around on stage and, and create music based off of my movements or anything that you could have ever possibly imagined, they teach you how to do that here. The advice I would give to somebody coming into this program is um, to take advantage of creative opportunities, be aware that you're asked to be both, both creative as well as good technically, that it's a combination of those two things. Um, take advantage of the fact that you have good access to faculty. Uh, take advantage of the fact that you have access to students who are in other areas of the program like art and music and being able to relate to those people and work with them to create something interesting is, uh, is really a key to succeeding. One of the things that I really try to look for is students that are going to be kind of uh, self-starters that don't require a lot of external motivation I guess you would put it. Put it. Uh, really kind of 
uh, students that are gonna that are taking charge of their own kind of education, their own uh, process of entering the workforce, and that sort of stuff. Because if you have that, uh, you're gonna find opportunities out there. The opportunities are there. They just don't fall on your doorstep uh, maybe as readily as they are as they do in other disciplines. Um, I would say be prepared to work a lot of hours, but you'll get something good out of it. I think all of us have gotten something good out of it, and uh, we know how to work a lot of hours. Because <laughs> you're going to need to later anyway.